Okay, in this video, we want to solve the initial value problem for y double prime plus 4y prime plus 5y is equal to 0. And our initial value is y parentheses 0 is equal to 1 and y prime 0 is equal to 0. And so since it's a second order, we have y double prime. We can say r squared plus 4 um, r plus 5 is equal to 0. Um, we can't factor this, so we have to use a quadratic equation. So r is equal to minus b, so minus 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 4 squared 16, minus 4a, a is 1, c, so c is 5. Um, like this, divided by 2a, so divided by 2. And so what we're going to get here is minus 4 plus or minus the square root 16 minus 20 is negative 4 divided by 2. And so this right here, okay, so negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. The square root of negative 4 is uh, plus or minus 2i. So we would get plus or minus i. And let me scroll down, and so we'll write our general equation. And so our general equation will be y is equal to c1e raised to negative 2t times cosine t, because uh, plus or minus i, that's why we write cosine t, plus c2e raised to negative 2t times sine t. And this right here is our general equation. But if you remember, um, we're given initial values, so we can actually solve for C1 and C2. So we'll do that. And so in order to do that, we need to we also need to get uh, y prime. And so what we're gonna get here would be uh, C1e raised to negative 2t, parentheses, negative 2 cosine uh, t minus sine t plus we have uh, c2e raised to negative 2t uh, parentheses negative 2 sine t plus cosine t like this and if you remember if you go back to the original um, problem um, y parentheses 0 is equal to 1 so t here is 0 and y would equal 1 and y prime 0 is equal to 0 so t once again here would also equal 0 and y prime would be 0 and so the next step is to simply plug in those values t is equal to 0 y would be uh, 1 and y prime is 0 and so if t is equal to 0 we know that sine 0 would be 0, so this would be gone here. Cosine 0 is 1. e raised to 0 is 1. And we said that y would equal 1. So for this, y is 1 is equal to c1. Because this right here would produce 1, and this is 0. So we know that c1 is equal to 1. And next we need to do y prime. We're saying that y prime is equal to 0. And we're just plugging in t is 0. So this would be 1, this would be negative 2, this would be 0, this would be 0, this would be uh, 1, and this would be 1. And so what we're going to get here is c1 times negative 2. So negative 2 c1 plus uh, c2 times 1, so c2. Um, we said that c1 is equal to 1, so negative 2. So C2 would be 2. And so we're almost there. So we use our general equation, this, and we just simply plug in 1 for C1 and 2 for C2. And so we simply plug in uh, 1 for C1 and 2 for C2. And so we can say that the answer would be y is equal to e raised to negative 2t cosine t plus 2e raised to negative 2t sine t. Um, we can write it like this, or we can uh, do a common factor of e raised to negative 2t. 
So we can say that y is equal to e raised to negative 2t, parentheses, cosine t plus 2 sine t, like this. And we box it in. And so our final answer is this. And that's all we need to do.